okay all so in this one what we are going to do is uh, we are going to set up our own ethereum node right and in few simple steps okay i will try to make it as simple as possible right so uh, i know that i have done this before in the past but right now the uh, ethereum has been shifted from proof of work to proof of stake so there are some minor changes and the documentation is little confusing so people don't understand what to do how to do and the process is also a little bit slow i'm talking about the syncing process so yeah so that's confusing right so what what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to give you some simple steps and i'm going to give the commands also and basically how to set up and all right so let's go ahead and start so for this one i'm going to use the go ethereum which is the go implementation of the ethereum or you can call as the get ethereum right get node and uh, you can find this uh what i'm whatever i'm going to do you can find on the get website also in the get documentation also but it's a little bit messy so I'll suggest going with my uh, commands that I provide only, right? So if you have enough knowledge, you can go with the documentation also, right? Now click on the documentation and click on the getting started and then go to the installation of the gate, right? So here you will find the, all of the details. So I'm not going to go through the, all of the details. I'm, I have copied the commands in the my notepad. So I'll just paste that command and I will explain what are those commands are. And basically we'll do the rest of the things, right? So uh, to install this, I am going to choose, I'm going to create a one virtual machine where I will demonstrate how to run the get node, right? So uh, basically get node or Ethereum node, you can say, right? So basically I'm going to use here the Vulture Cloud. I know that every time I use the DigitalOcean, but right now I'm using Vulture because I found that Vulture's uh, machines are a little bit more stable and they have good bandwidth speed, right? So that's why I'm going to use the Vulture. So let's click on the Vulture and click on the deploy. So as you can see by default is uh, selecting the optimized cloud compute, right? So let's click on shared cloud compute because we, we am not going to you know deploy actually this is just for you know the test or you can see the video right so let's select Bangalore go ahead and select to Ubuntu and in the Ubuntu make sure that you are selecting 20.04 LTS okay so once it is selected you can go with the 12 dollar seasonal whatever you want or if you are signing up with my link you will get 100 dollar free credit for six uh 60 days i guess right so then you can select whatever you want even you can sell the 144 dollar per month plan also right so let's go ahead and disable this backup because i don't need the backup and the backup will cost much because the uh, size of the blockchain is going to be much more so backup will, backup is not you know good for us right so if you have private key you can just click on the private key or add a private key whatever right but i'm not going to do that and if you notice we don't have to set a password here because they will generate random password for us and we can use that from dashboard directly so click on the deploy now it will take a few seconds to launch okay looks like it is installed and as you can see there is uh, uh, the instance is there right so what you can do is just and this is also uh, charging the hourly basis so you don't have to worry about the charge if you are running for few hours right so let's copy the uh, ipv4 open the terminal now we have terminal here and i will make terminal a little bit bigger so that uh, everything will be clear so let me type here something it looks a little bit small so let's make it a little bit clear clear the screen and let's go ahead right so first thing you need to do is do the ssh login so do ssh root at the rate and the ip address of the server you can copy the ip address from this uh, right here the dashboard right so this is a private ip sorry public ip right so once it is done click on enter 
and then hence we are doing the first time let's type on the s it is asking for password go back to the uh, control panel click on the instance the default name is cloud instance but you can change the name right so as you can see there is username root ip and this is the password so click on the copy once it is copied go to the terminal click here and paste it right so right now we have done the ssh login right here right so the first thing is update the uh, uh do the apt update thing right so we don't need to add sudo so let's do apt update directly and that should update the all repositories and it should cross check the uh, versions etc right so once it is done let's type the clear okay so now what we are going to do is there are a lot of methods to install the gets using the go using the uh the apt package using uh other things also right so using the source etc right so what i'm going to do in this one is i'm going to use the apt bucket thing right so let's copy the command paste it right here so it's uh, uh we are just adding the repository called ethereum ethereum right so hit enter once it is added it is uh you know uh, we should update the apt so let's update the apt once it is updated we can now install the package so this is the commands to apt get install the 3m right so you will find all commands in the description so don't rush to pause the video and do your thing right so let's click on the s yes. as you can see it is taking a little bit time to install so let's give it some time okay now it's installed let's type clear to clear the screen do the ls as you can see there is only one folder for snap okay so uh, there is one more thing hence ethereum has worked from pow to proof of you can say the it is more from proof of work to proof of stake right so that's why there are some changes so we cannot just run the get node directly we need to have this uh, uh, i don't know how to spell it but uh, it's kind of concept clients right so this is this is spelling right it's a concept client so we need to run that and there are lots of clients but i'm going to choose the prism because it's a uh, quite easy so you will again find the documentation right here i will include this link in the description too right so i have the commands i have copied the command so let's follow the commands only right let's go to the terminal again create a one directory called prism and cd into the prism right so once you are you can just do pwd as you can see you are inside the prism directory right now uh, it's time to fetch the prism script so for this you can use this command and once it is there you can do the ls as you can see the prism dot ss is there and the executable permission is also there that means you can execute that script directly so basically what we need to do is we need to generate our keys to connect the blockchain right so let's do one thing uh let's paste this command generate auth secret once it is done you will get beacon chain secret so this is a root it this is the directory where this secret is so you can just copy this directory and this path to jwt secret so because this this we need to use this secret in the get command and uh, while accessing the blockchain also right so you can just copy this path and paste it somewhere and you do your thing right so let's clear the screen now first thing what we need to do is we need to run the uh, uh you can say the prism right so for this one i'm going to use this command so let's paste it right here okay so i'll explain the command so this is a prism uh script this is a type of the chain beacon chain execution endpoint this is go it's going to be the local endpoint because we are going to run um execution node which is get in the local next is jwt secret i'm mentioning the right part this is my exact path make sure that you are mentioning the right part too and there is a one more which is suggested fee recipient right so basically when you run your own 
uh, get node you get some rewards in return because uh, basically your uh, node is acting as a processor on the network right it depends on how you are uh, running your node okay so if you are uh, doing uh, without staking then you will not get any rewards but if you are staking then definitely will get rewards right then in that case you can just mention your ethereum address right here instead of this address so this is the address of the charity so i'm mentioning right here but you can add your address right here okay so click on the enter and as you can see it is saying to accept the sorry sorry let me just start again and it is asking for the accept the contract right whatever the term and condition is so let's click on the access and as you can see it is showing the error that localhost 85581 is not running that means gate is not running so let's do one thing let's split your terminal or if you don't have this terminal fancy terminal you what you can do is just open another terminal right so i have the ability to split the terminals that's why i'm the splitting this terminal by the way this app is called terminator if you want to install you can just type apt install terminator right so that should um, solve your issue and you will get the same uh, terminal so that you can split screen and all stuff right let's move forward let's move ahead uh, do ssh root at the rate we need to copy the ip address from right here so you can go back here come here paste the ip address again go back copy the password we are doing the same login again okay i will tell you why so right now we are inside this and uh, what we need to do is we need to run the get blockchain so that we will have the uh, this uh, verification node uh, running so this is the execution this is the verification something like that right let's click on the enter and as you can see it is started right now and it has started with the syncing and it uh this this node uh, sorry the co this concept node should also uh sync with this ethereum node and basically this is the execution and this is a kind of verification right so they work together to sync the whole blockchain this is how it works okay so if you want to run this in background what you can do is you can just add ampersand in the uh, end and what you can do is add here no h u p right so that should uh, run sorry it should be no hp that should run this process in the background and you can close the terminal similarly you can do with this one also you can just amp write amp percent right here and do add uh, no hp in the first and that should do your thing otherwise you can do you can uh, if you are pretty much a uh, good linux user or if you have good knowledge of the linux then you, what you can do is you can run both things as a service right so yeah i think that's all this is how you can run your own ethereum node and uh, yeah that's all and if you want to see where the data is getting stored i will show you let's ls and uh, let's say ls all and as you can see i know you can't see let's make it bigger there is one folder called dot ethereum okay so if you go inside the dot ethereum sorry let's go inside the dot okay i'm pasting the same thing again and again let's cd paste dot ethereum ls as you can see there is there are two things get key store so in the key store you will find the keys and inside get you will find the blockchain data so inside there it's uh, uh, there are some things and there is chain data so if you go inside the chain data okay ch okay chain data as you can see there it's uh, there will be the data i i couldn't uh, let that you know i haven't uh, uh, let, let that uh, command to run for a while so it wasn't connecting to a different uh, node to get things so that's why we cannot see any data right here right if you are running this block uh, let's say sync process for let's say five six minutes then you should definitely see some blocks here that are already synced right so yeah i think uh, 
I mentioned everything and this is the text uh, which is and command I am using right now so I will just uh, add these commands or the my github or let's say I will add in the um, description and from there you can uh, copy if you want right? and if you have any questions just let me know in the comments and if I am doing anything wrong in this video just let me know so that I can improvise and other people also cannot do the same mistake again and again okay so just uh, if there is something wrong just put down the comment and one last thing as a developer you should have any cloud account it doesn't matter is if it is DigitalOcean or it's a Linode or any it's a Volter or AWS you should have one cloud account to test your things right and if you don't have any account right now you can just use my referral link to sign up on the Volter and uh, you will get hundred dollar free credit right I think that's all and see you in the next.